guys, so a couple people asked if I would do a video on the instructions I leave for our pet sitters since as most of you know who watch the channel, we are going to be going out of town for a couple days and my mother-in-law is going to be coming to watch the boys. Um, so the instructions I leave are the feeding schedule um, and I feed my boys three times a day. I put the times that... The, uh, these are just, you know, estimated times. I'm not always up at 7 a.m. Could be 8 a.m., could be 9 a.m. But I try to keep it around these times that I feed them their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So she don't get up till 8, perfectly fine. Um, I left that they um, get one orange scoop for breakfast and lunch and one green scoop for dinner. Now, I was gonna put the measurement size, but I figured it would be easier for her just to see that there's an orange and a green scoop in here. So she didn't have to look for the measurements on the scooper. The orange one is a third cup and the uh, green one is a fourth cup. So they get two, they, at breakfast and lunch, they get a one third cup and then at dinner they get a one fourth cup. So I just did it by the colors of the scooper. And then Kitten just gets one scoop. He gets the same amount uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I um, wrote down about their dental treats, that they get one every day, uh, where they're kept, you, when I usually give it to them, but she can give it to them any time of the day she wants, um, as long as they only get one a day. Then I um, left some instructions about where the crate and the bedtime treats are. They're kept in where their crates are and how many to give, um, that if she's not able to, like if she's leaving the house, if you're showering, if you're in the basement doing laundry, um, anything like that where you can't keep an eye on them, I always throw them in their crates so they're not getting in trouble. Um, then, what else did I write? Oh, Kitten, how many treats he gets at night and where they're kept. I also put a little note on here about Neighbors setting off fireworks because we are going away the weekend after the 4th. So I'm assuming people are going to be having parties still. Probably shooting off fireworks uh, the weekend we're gone. So I let her know that Miggy is scared of them. I'm going to leave a Sunder shirt out. But I don't know if she's going to know how to put that on him. It's, you know, it takes me a while to figure it out when I first put it on him too. <laughs> so, but I did want her to know that she's going to need to go outside with him at night before he goes to bed when it's dark if people are shooting off fireworks because he will be scared and he won't go to the bathroom. Um, I also put about what time I usually put let him go out for the last time for the night and put him to bed. Sorry there's a glare on this you guys. The light from my kitchen. It's in a sheet protector and there's a glare. Um, I also uh, put on there that it's very unusual for them to cry in the middle of the night. So if they do, it means they have to go outside. If they cry in the middle of the night, they either got to go to the bathroom or they're about to throw up. <laughs> so I wanted her to know that too. If she hears them crying, got to get up and let them outside. I also let vet, or uh, I left vet info, our vet, the after hours emergency vet, in case there's an emergency when my vet's not open. Then I also left my mom's phone number, which is under this magnet for privacy. Um, just in case there's something going on with one of the boys and my mother-in-law needs some help or God forbid my mother-in-law gets ill something happens with her she can call my mom and my mom can get over here my mom lives about a 10 minute drive away and then I also um, this might be overkill <laughs> but I noticed the other day when my daughter was giving them their lunch that she don't know exactly where I place everybody's um, dishes so I took this photo one morning when they were eating their breakfast and then I put their names by them so she can know where I sit their bowls because my boys are creatures of habit they are on a routine since I'm here most of the time with them they're on a routine and when you don't <laughs> put them in a certain place or feed them out of order they get confused and they're all over the place and I noticed they were almost tripping my daughter so I figured I'd take this picture so she could see where I sit their bowls and who eats where. I'm also, um, I've decided as I was thinking about this video, I'm going to put a list right here of who I give the bowls to first because I noticed my daughter was just giving them to whoever and Magnum, Kitten and Magnum are the two I sit down first. 
then Mozzie and Max, and then Miggy and Marley. And Magnum was like freaking out, like trying to get into, I don't remember whose bowl she sat down before his, but Kitten and Magnum are used to getting their food first. And if you don't do it in the certain order, they're confused. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a list under this picture of whose bowls I placed down um, in what order. So I know that might sound strange, especially if you don't have more than one dog. <laughs> I also um, label the containers, and I've, I labeled these a while back and I've just left them on here. Um, I've got one for the dog food, their dental treats, and the cat food, and then in the room where I keep their crates, I have, let me turn on the light in here, I have two containers. I have one that says crate treats. These are the little treats I give them when I just throw them in their crate when we're leaving the house or I'm taking a shower or I'm outside and they're inside. Um, so they get one of those when they get put in their crate and then they have their bedtime treats when they go to bed at night. And I'm also leaving a extra uh, crate pad here in case there's an accident in one of the crates. Somebody throws up, has an accident. You never know. So I just want to make things easy as possible. She can just drag that out and then put a new one in. I also have some blankets out here. Some extra blankets right here too that she can use in their crates if there's a problem. So anyways, that's what I do when I'm having someone come watch the boys. And she, of course, is family. She's my mother-in-law, so she has all our phone numbers in case of emergency. She can get a hold of us and we're only going to be a two and a half hour drive away. So hope this video was helpful and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.